Welcome to VetScope. In this video, we'll be looking at entering receipts and payments. Let's start with client receipts. There are different ways to enter receipts depending on what the client is paying. First, let's look at when a client wants to pay towards their balance. If a client wants to pay towards their balance, you can use the Pay button. To access this button, go to the Clients and Supplier screen. Alternatively, you could use the Enter Receipt button from the main menu. Once in the Clients and Supplier screen, find the client using the magnifying glass icon. When you have their details displayed, click on the Pay button. Once in the Client Receipt window, you can then enter the amount here. In this example, we will have the client paying 72 euro. You can then select the payment method. If paying with cash, the amount tendered function is available to calculate the change due back to the client. It's not required to complete the transaction, however, it is a useful tool. In this example, the client wants to pay 72 euros in cash, but only has a 100 euro note. First, click on cash to select it as a payment type. To calculate the change due, type in the amount of cash the client is paying with into the amount tendered field, then click on a space outside the box. In the change field below, it will display what change the client is due back. Once complete, click save at the bottom to finish the transaction. The client's current balance will now be reduced by the amount of the receipt just entered. Now, when a client is paying for a visit, it is a very similar process. Once the billing for the visit has been entered, the pay button in the visit screen can be clicked and the receipt can be entered the same way as the last example. Now let's look at when a client is buying something and paying for it in full. Instead of invoicing them and then using the pay button to enter the receipt, the cash sale function can be used. This function counts as both an invoice and a receipt. Bear in mind that even though it's called a cash sale, it can be used for all payment methods such as check or credit card. To use the function, click on the cash sale button. Use select to find the client. If the person doesn't have an account and is just buying something over the counter, you can skip this step. Enter in the sales items the same way as an invoice. Once complete, click on the Enter Payment Details to select the type of payment. If using cash, the Amount Tendered option is available the same way as in the last example. Once finished, click on the Save button at the bottom. This transaction will be reflected on the client's account, however, it will not increase their balance. Now let's look at entering payments made to suppliers. The ways for entering payments are very similar to what we just looked at. If you want to reflect a payment made towards your balance with the supplier, use the Pay button. To do this, locate the supplier in the Client's and Supplier screen, click on the Pay button, and enter the payment the same way as previously shown for clients. Something to be aware of is that when using the Pay button, the amount that was entered will go towards the oldest unpaid invoice. If you are paying a group of specific supplier invoices, it's better to use the auto pay function. See the separate manual for auto pay in the help and tutorials section. Now, for instances when you are buying something from a supplier and paying for it in full, typically expenses like broadband or rent, use the bank payment button. This counts as both invoice and payment and can be used to reflect any payment method. To enter a payment this way, click on Accounts, and then click on Bank Payment at the bottom of the screen. Search for the supplier, and then click on their name. This will open a Supplier Cash Payment window. In this example, we will reflect a payment for printing stationery, so we will not be using items from the price list. Instead, we will just use an analysis code. Click into the Analysis Code field to select the analysis code for the particular expense. In this example, we will use the analysis code for a stationary expense. Add the amount paid in the total field, and select the correct VAT rate. Add a description to give details around the payment, and add a ref for quick reference. If there is a supplier invoice number available, this is a good place to reflect it. 
The payment details can then be added by clicking on the Enter Payment Details button. Here the method of payment can be selected. Click Save once completed. And that's it, finished. Now, if you have a supplier that is a once-off, or someone you rarely use and therefore do not have an account set up for them, you can still use this process. Click on Bank Payment like before. However, when the Find Supplier window appears, click on the Cancel button. On the left side of the screen, click on Cash Payment, and overwrite it with the supplier's name. You can then fill in the remaining details the same way as the previous example. Once finished, make sure to click Save at the bottom of the screen. That concludes this video on entering client receipts and supplier payments. If you have any questions, please contact Vetscope using the details on the screen.